going on, you guys? It's your boy Slumpy. We're here at the Wilsonville Regional. I'll be here with Tian. Mm. You already know the fluffy Your boy. <laughs> and uh, we're here with Elvis Prado. And uh, what did you do today? Uh, I got second place with Striker. All right, let's go and get to this deck for a while. I played uh, three Ray, uh, three Ash Blossom, and two Valor for my monsters. Play three Engage, three Anchor. Uh, three multi roll. And I play, I made that two shirt ride. I knew Salamon Greats and like Striker was gonna be really popular at this event. And like just in general, because they're, like, they're the best decks right now. So I opted to main deck them. I was siding them at first, but I just, I felt like it was just too good not to play in the main. Uh, only two Area Zero, um, two Twin, two Ego Booster, two, two, two. two. Just a lot of <laughs> standard. A lot of, yeah. I played uh, one Metal Pose, one Afterburner, one Shark Cannon, one Hornet, one of oh, this guy, one Jamming Waves. Yeah, Hercules Waves. Uh, one Upstart, one Rota, and then I just picked two Impermanence and two on the Compute One. So for the Striker spells, I know a lot of people, I know I've been asking this all weekend, but a lot of Striker players are Who's playing like two Jamming Waves or two Shark Cannon. Or they're Which bumping one? up like different ratios. Is there anything right. that you would rather change at all, or? Um, not really. I think this is pretty good. I uh, jamming waves never really came up too often. Um, it's only really good if you like multi roll something and then like you play jamming waves. Mm -hmm. But like, and it, I never missed the second one like at all. Uh, a lot of people cut Hercules base. I think this card's amazing. You get to like the grind game against like the mirror because you can recycle back your Kagaris and they cannot. So you just win the mirror match with this card. Gotcha. They also just kind of comes up against like Rogue too. Right. Like, it's something. just like any grind matchup that wins. And then just two impermanence too. And for the main deck, like for the for the two, uh, there can only one that come up a lot for you. Was it really good? Um, I played a couple of. Uh, Salaman grades and this card just blew them out. Like I would just flip it and that was it. I played 43 cards in the main with the upstart. 43, <laughs> wow. bro. Setting the new standard. 43 <laughs> cards with upstart. <laughs> so what should, we, what should we say? Just like just in general, like playing the upstart in 43, just like. Was that just like something you're just like, you know, I'm going to play 42 cards, or is there like an actual uh, reason behind it? So, the, the deck pretty much plus ones like the whole time because of Engage. Mm -hmm. And like being able to like dig deep through your deck, just always like searching and constantly going through your deck. Uh, I found that like Upstart is just like another spell in your graveyard. And it pretty much just deck thins if you like think about it in a way. He's running but 42, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so you gotta like search off from Engage. Right. And you it it just stuff. adds spells in the grave. And, I, I, I always liked Upstart and Strikers the whole time. <laughs> I don't know what I'm not doing over here. Uh, for the extra deck, it's pretty standard. I played three Kagari, three Shizuku, three Hayate, one Kaina. Did you ever miss a second Kaina against like combo decks or anything like that? Uh, like, has it ever come up for you in testing? Kaina, Kaina only came up once. Like I, I blocked the, a Violet Chimera and that pretty much won me the game against a Salaman Great player. But I never really played the second one. Uh, the only reason I could think of playing the second one is if like I'm going into time or something, but that, I don't rely on time. Mm -hmm. um, I played Phoenix, Unicorn, Kingurusu, Warlord, and Boral Sword. Uh, this never really came up, and th this was pretty much just I, I I don't know why I'm even playing this card to be honest. <laughs> was like, Do you make Unicorn I, at all? Uh, I made Unicorn a couple times to like shuffle back like Area Zero or like uh, just. A problematic card in general, mm -hmm. but Ningrusu came up a couple times, and so did Phoenix. Phoenix did you ever want uh, Hita in your extra deck? I did not. <laughs> you never wanted it. No. Dang, everyone plays uh, the Hita. Also because Hita Hercules base just recycled everything, and I didn't really need the Hita. But okay. I, I think I'm just gonna cut these kitty cards. It never, ever, yeah. never came up. What would you replace them with? Like cherry targets or like something for your side deck or anything? Um, personally, I'd probably like. I, I wanted to play Rushka because, like, if I'm going against like Geist yeah. and they like make the uh, secret village and I, I can't play, so I was I wanted to play that, but I couldn't find anybody who had it, so I just stuck with the sword and the load. Oh, didn't even ask me. It's <laughs> <laughs> a fluffy poppy, man. Yeah. Uh, I mean, cards all day. Uh, for the side deck, I played three Lancia, uh, two, three Pankratops, 
two ogres and two kaijus from monsters. Um, Why'd you decide to play the two different kaijus in your list? So, I was talking to Luis before the event, and he was like, just play two kaijus, and I was like, okay. And so I played two kaijus, it never came up, but they were there, <laughs> I mean, at least. But uh, this is for like the mirror match, because like you play, you side the other twin twister, and you just kaiju them clear the back row. It's also good against Sailor Man grades, because they usually just end with a Sunlight Wolf, he's kaiju also, or like Wolf, and their back row is like gone. Mm -hmm. So, uh, other than that, I never opened these cards, I never saw them at all, so. I can't really give an opinion on them. <laughs> okay. uh, Ogre was good in the mirror, just hitting multi roll was pretty amazing. And uh, against Salaman grades, when they normal summon and use the fact that you ogre the normal, and their turn pretty much ends. So I love that. And Pankratops for guys. Just good. Yeah, and this is for in case I played Necroz and like Orcus and wow, T Drag. Who plays Necroz? <laughs> <laughs> Necroz is going to be a thing, but. Uh, oh, yeah, me and Robert this, this didn't come up at all, it sucked. And then. Three mind control, one twin, the last one would be one. Uh, mind control was mostly for uh, the Thunder Dragon matchup, the mirror, Salaman grades. This card was just a blowout. For everything? Like, yeah, it, it, it was pretty much a blowout against every single deck I played against. But uh, the third twin, because you need it, and then the third one for grades and Thunder Dragon. Is there uh, anything in the side deck or main or extra that you miss at all this whole weekend? Um, definitely I want to cut the kaijus or something else. Uh, I didn't, I never used them. <laughs> so I, I don't know what I'm going to play later on. Um, it's going to definitely test more with John. Uh, John and Rodrigo really helped me out a lot with this deck and so did Manav. I talked to Manav about the, this card and it really came up a lot. So thanks to Manav, Rodrigo, uh, thank you to uh, John for testing, Samuel Craig, and uh, what's his name? Marlon. But yeah, those, all those people really helped me out a lot in like the deck building and everything, and so did Luis. So, I big shout out to them. Uh, any uh, notable matches this weekend at all for you? A uh, big notable one was, uh, so uh, before coming to this event, I was thinking of playing Spiral or Orca Spiral. <laughs> and Luis kept telling me not to do that, so I'm just like, okay, I'll play Striker. And I kept telling everybody that I can't play Striker mirrors for my life. <laughs> and it really showed because, like, the first Striker player I lost to, so that kind of sucked. But I, I still don't know how to play the mirror. <laughs> 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 He's like, I hope they're on Kaiju. Oh, 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 this all I know is just Afterburner and, oh, not Afterburner, uh, Ego Booster and You Pray. And that's all, that's all I know about the mirror. <laughs> so... Uh, I'm glad I didn't play too many. I only played two. <laughs> so, yeah, was, shout outs at all for you? Yeah, John, John Hamby, uh, Samuel Craig, uh, Georgie Katurin, uh, Manov, uh, Marlin, TN, uh, Genesis, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Elvis Prado here is actually our newest member yeah, I just, of Genesis. Yeah, <laughs> just got into in. Genesis, so I'm really happy oh, yeah. about that. Uh, but, uh, not yeah. Cameron, I didn't come at all. <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, I guess I'll get Teresa in here. What up, bro? <laughs> Shout out to Danny yeah. as well. Daniel. Uh, mm. <laughs> so, mm. I just hope later on I get to learn this mirror more. But if the deck ever gets hit, I think I might play Necroz or Ultra Geist. I mean, unless it only gets hit a little bit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's really it. All right, man. Congratulations again on getting second place. Thank you so much for doing the deck profile with us. And this is Slumpy Slumping Out. Thank you, guys.